Hi there, it's Jeff. Well, I've just recently finished uh, making this modification to my blade guard. It's this cantilever bracket here that attaches to the blade guard that I've actually made out of Perspex myself. And it allows you to adjust the blade guard nice and easy, uh, up and down to suit the material that you're gonna be machining. Uh, my particular um, blade guard is attached to a, a beam, sort of an arm that goes over the table saw due to the positioning of my table saw it's up against a wall and I've got a bracket this this bar is on a bracket and it allows me to do that but if you've got in a similar situation where uh, your saw is up against a wall or you want to make a, a boom arm that goes over with a blade guard attachment like this keep watching and I show you how I've made mine step by step Okay, I've got all my uh, components all finished now for this, especially the top and bottom bracket and the, uh, the four pivoting arms that are on it. I've already started putting some of those together. It's just a matter of bolting them onto these top and bottom rails. That one's going to go onto there. I've pre-drilled some holes into this that's going to screw into the top of my blade guard, the timber that's on that. And this one here, remember, has the hole to accommodate the bolt that's going through. My pro tip here is to make sure that you're using uh, lock nuts. And I've just nipped these up so that they're just sort of snug, tight, and you can also um, tighten that up or just nip it up when it's on and all together just and see how if it goes up and down. And we'll see if it actually stays in position where I want it. That will be the key point. If it does start to drop or move, then these uh, it's a matter of tightening these little uh, lock nuts just nipping them just a little bit one by one and just to get that so it does move and stay where you want it to stay. Just wanted to talk to you about what's going on here with my over, uh, overhead arm that's going on here. It's going to support or hold the blade guard with my saw. I've had this on here for a while. This is um, due to the position of my saw, which is up against the, the wall. I've just made this bracket. It comes off the wall. At the end, I've got one bit of tube that slides inside the other with a, um, a stop sort of uh, adjustment there. And I've got like a little bush here. Now this bush has been drilled out um, to fit this side bolt. I've uh, drilled a hole and I've tapped a thread in there for a little uh, turning adjustment knob. And the <coughs> blade guard is going to be 
with a C-shaped bracket on the top and this uh, bolt with a nut down the bottom will hold that bracket and go up in here to, the, to there. So it means that when this is all together it will mean that the blade guard can also turn if need be left or right depending on how this is positioned off the wall. So just a little bit of extra adjustment but the way I had it set up before was this was on a long rod and this would just go up and down that would be my adjustment up and down to my material. So that's just a little bit of um, what's going on here in regards to attaching it to this beam but there are other ways you could probably do that this is just what I had and what was already there so instead of um, modifying that again uh, I've just cut down this bolt and that's going to go into there and attach to the body of the blade guard. Okay, I've just finished fitting this all onto my contraption here, my beam, the boom arm I should say, um, and I've put it onto my blade guard. And I've got a little issue here, so as you can see when I move this, it's dropping. So that means that I'm going to need to just nip up uh, those little lock nuts there, uh, just one by one, till it stays where I want it to. So let's get on to that. Well, there you go. This is my version of a DIY uh, movable bracket for a uh, table saw blade guard. And this is a modified Perspex blade guard that I have made previously, but I just wanted to highlight or focus on the bracket above in this um, DIY build, which allows this blade guard to move freely up and down to suit the material that you're machining. But more importantly, this works well with an overarm setup. So if you've got something like that in mind with your uh, table saw or you're thinking about um, converting or modifying your table saw to with an overarm setup so you can run your dust extraction system as well, then this uh, might help you in some way. Well, that just about wraps up this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, press like, share, and remember to subscribe so you keep up to date with my latest videos that come out as well. And hopefully I will see you in my next video.